Good evening, Trans family. My name is Kate Trans. Welcome on Dream State and please welcome Princess of Trans, Emma Hewitt. Good evening, Emma. Hello, how are you? I'm so good, thanks. It's so good to see you again and I'm so stoked to be here. Straight after your gig, how do you feel? It was awesome. The crowd here, always the crowd in Poland is next level, but the Dream State Poland crowd was another level altogether, so I love it. This is not your first time on Dream State Poland. How do you recall your last time on Dream State? So much fun. Last time I was here with Marcus Schultz as well and we had a lot of fun. It was my birthday so we partied until the very end. <laughs> I went straight to the plane I think so it was fun. Yeah. What did you sing for us? Oh, tonight? Yes. Tonight, I yeah, I did something different. Tonight I did a cover of Sarah McLaughlin's Silence because this is one of my all-time favorite songs. Um, it's what kind of made me get into trance music in the first place. And I sung Hypnotized with Marcus Schultz. Um, well, it's actually with Elan Bluestone, but Marcus's remix. What else did I sing? I sung Take Everything. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't remember what I sung. Anymore. One of my favorite. You just released your new tracks, uh, Warrior. What can you tell me about this new single? Oh yes, yeah. so I'm just releasing a couple of singles from my album which is coming out in the next, oh, I think about three or four weeks time. So with this album I'm, I'm getting back to my roots as a singer-songwriter and most of the tracks on the album are a little more chill and organic and live instruments. Um, so I wanted to kind of showcase that side of, of my personality and myself again. There's remixes on them all of course as well, but it's really nice to get back to my organic instrument roots. Uh, what is the title of album and what can you tell me about the process of production and about inspirations? Sure, uh, the title of the album is called The Ghost of the Light um, and the inspiration for this is basically from my life, from my experiences, from the experiences of friends and, and people I've observed around me but it's a very personal album in this way um, and production wise I worked on this with my brother Anthony and our friend Tim Henwood who used to be in the rock band Missing Hours with us together. So the three of us were together in lockdown and we were like, okay, let's, we're in Australia, let's just make an album, we'll play most of the instruments that we can find and we got a couple of other people in to play drums and a few things and we just thought we'll just bang as many sounds together until an album comes out and <laughs> that's what, how it was made. So, What is the exact inspiration behind the title of your album? Oh, uh, behind the ghost of the light. I think it's like the echoes of light that still follow us uh, through our lives, like the echoes of memories that you still catch glimpses of here and there as you go through your life. You know, the things that you'll, you'll see little flashes of um, and those memories that stay with us. And uh, right now we are going to the second part of the interview. Give me two reasons why. So, Emma, okay. <laughs> give me two reasons why this night is amazing. Oh my goodness, because there's wonderful people here and I get to see you again. <laughs> and because the music is fantastic, of course. Oh, but I have to give three because the crowd energy is amazing. So I need, I need three reasons. <laughs> give me two reasons why you are amazing. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard one. Well, I think I'm a nice person. Um, maybe that's one. Energy. Oh, thank you. Okay, there's two. <laughs> I am amazing. Give me two reasons why I am amazing. Well, you are amazing because you have beautiful energy as well. And it's just, you light up the room whenever you come in. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Give me two reasons why Polish audience is the best. Ah, Polish audience because they're always dancing, they're dancing their heads off and <laughs> going crazy out there and they're such a loud and such a vivacious crowd and they're always so friendly and beautiful people, very welcoming. Give me two reasons why it is worth to be a fan of trance music. Oh, I think it's just so emotive and I think it brings people together. You know, I think from all, you see people from every country here that are all bonding over trance music and the emotion in it. Give me two reasons why it's worth to listen to your music, especially in your album. Oh, you know, because I, I think uh, it's something that might evoke some emotions in people and hopefully resonate with some people. I think because the songs are personal to me, hopefully people will feel some personal connections there to experiences in their own life as well. Give me two reasons why this summer is going to be amazing. Ah, oh, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of great festivals on and everybody's like ready to party again after the last couple of years of being shut down and stuff. So I think it's going to be a big one. <laughs> Emma, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you. This is a great impromptu interview. I love it. <laughs> okay, at the end, could you just take a mic, introduce yourself and invite everyone to watch our interview. On okay. Trans, on trans music, okay, thank you so much. 
Hey guys, I'm Emma Hewitt and thank you so much for watching our interview on Trance Music TV. Love you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so good. laughs>